Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Marvel Contest of Champions. So, there hasn't really been too many good things that could be said about uh, Contest of Champions over the past month or so. A lot of bad stuff's gone on. We've discussed that in the version 12.0 uh, video with my thoughts. Now, the guy that's behind the entire uh, boycott of MCOC, the guy that's done like the most, in my eyes, the guy that's done the most uh, effective work in uh, trying to solve this issue, the Living Tribunal, who I'd mentioned in version uh, 12.0, my reaction thoughts, has come up with another plausible scenario that is kind of something that's been kind of, it's, it's been in the back of my mind this entire time that this is exactly what they were going towards uh, a long time ago. Not just now, the, the theory has pushed itself out there even more now with the way things are, but the idea is that uh, Contest of Champions was meant to be going to the same style of the uh, the foreign market Contest of Champions that uh, the Chinese market that was shut down where there was this entire whole system in place, flat values, all of these stats dropped uh, in replacement uh, for gear, which puts more grind on the game, puts more money into the game because they do have deals where you can buy stuff to be able to do that. I am going to use pictures from Marvel Future Fight to kind of showcase the uh, the whole idea behind gear in this video. Not that, uh, and that's not not saying anything about Net Marvel because number one, the Chinese version of this game had been going for over a year. Net Marvel wasn't even in the talks with Kabam on doing that uh, the whole deal at that point in time. But the Chinese version still had it. So, I mean, this this has been the kind of stuff that's been in the back of my, of the mind for Kabam for a really long time. Now, I will have links in the description below if you want to go over and check out everything that the Living Tribunal has to say on this uh, Reddit post. I will put it out there for you so you guys can head over and you can upvote it or you guys can go over and uh, leave your comments and thoughts on it. But, number one... They have been saying, and this has been a question that's been popped up on the forums for a while now. They have been saying, no, we are not going to a gear rating system. And this is this has been going for a few months now. If version 12.0 has been tested as extensively as they say it has for the, the past two or three months, whatever whatever time frame it is that they, they've been doing that, and they know the eventual placement that the game is going to with the way that they're going to do version 12.0. And they still deny the fact that they were heading towards that gear system type of game. Then this is like the ultimate bait and switch. The ultimate bait and switch in my opinion. Um, if you know something's going to happen and you deny 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 it to your fan base to your user base then you are liable in bait and switch because that's the biggest thing here they lowered so much stuff we'll take a look here at a couple of uh, certain sections in this little thing that, that uh, we have from the living tribunal so if we look we look here at this little section this has nothing to do with god tier champions whatsoever let me explain why um that's that's something I was saying from the very beginning of this whole thing, even before the uh, 12.0 uh, dropped, because there's so much stuff that was introduced. The flat value system really nerfed the entire field. Um, no matter how people look at it, the, the field has been nerfed. And with all of these new stats that have been added into the game, uh, the are supposedly going to be getting looked at whenever they have the chance to for the, uh, I guess, version 12.1 update. I don't know how they can call it version 12.1 other than just going straight and calling it version 13.0 because that's exactly what it would be. This is this is a very extensive overhaul that has to, has to be done to try and fix this kind of stuff. But I'm sure most of you guys have seen the, uh, the updates that uh, could potentially cod block this whole idea of gear but the possibility that uh, 
it could still happen. I mean, they are zeroing out the critical resist, block penetration, and armor penetration, and all current base stats, which was a huge thing uh, that would have played into the entirety of gear. And then we also had the update from today where they talk about, you know, making the little tweaks to the characters and, and a couple of masteries. But the big di the big thing with the uh, the gear system is, like I said, it makes them more money because there's more grind time that has to be put into the game to be able to acquire the gear that you want for the characters and to be able to rank up the gear to the point where you want it. But it all makes sense with the way that things are going. Uh, Captain America World War II, he, he took a ton of damage from, from blocked hits, a lot more than what he was doing. It would make sense if they were going to bring in the gear system to uh, to make more money off of people if they added Captain America's shield as a piece of gear and the higher the level that you had that at the less damage that you would take uh, same with Doctor Strange his his uh, regeneration powders uh, from his uh, phase 3 ability there could have been a piece of uh, gear that was attached to him that would have raised his ability to increase his health same with uh with scarlet witch and also increased their critical hit rates there could have been a piece of gear that could have been thrown on them to do that uh they could have even gone the route of with his his first phase where he's in his blocking phase that he starts to take damage now the gear could have countered that i mean it it, it all it all makes sense and like I said, once I saw that they were doing this with that the Chinese version of that game to begin with, it's like, well, it's not too long before they start doing that with this game as well. Especially if it makes money. It makes sense that they would want to convert things over. But here's, here's the big problem. You can't do that two and a half years into the, the game being the way it is. I know people like like to comment and say well you know you've obviously never played other games um because it happens in in those all the time i have played other games i play tons of other games especially mmos love mmos uh nothing has been this drastic at this point you gotta you gotta look at it from this perspective change sometimes isn't a bad thing but when you take something that we've we've been doing for two and a half years and you completely flip that up on top of its head, then there's an issue there. I mean, it's it's not the same game. The bait and switch has got to stop. I mean, if this is the inevitable inevitable point that they were going towards, and that's exactly what it looks like with all of these these new nerfs to all of the champions, the uh, the stats could have been raised by gear, then. There's an issue with that. That's that's not just an issue with the game itself. That's that's a moral <laughs> issue on Kabam's part. That is morally not sound as a business to to do that to your your user base. It's it's ridiculous. I mean, it, it is. It's just absolutely ridiculous. So I mean, if that's the case, I think that uh, we potentially could have stopped this by this whole thing by not just giving in here's the it's just like you see so many of these people out there are like oh just give them a chance i'm sorry but to me this this whole deal if we would have just sat back with version 12.0 and left it the way it was and not said anything about it it would have just kept getting worse and worse and worse that's just the first phase of it i mean the first phase is taking version 12.0 in stride and not saying anything about it, like letting the game be changed that drastically to that point and just being like, meh, oh well, let's just go with the flow and see what happens. You're essentially that one guy on his first day in jail who the bigger guy comes to you like, you want to eat that cornbread boy? And you're like, no sir, no sir, just take it. Just take the cornbread. And then you're his bitch. For, for the rest of the time you're in jail. If he wants the cornbread, damn it. Have the cornbread. Now, if he wants some cornbread, let him go up to the front and get his own portion of cornbread. That's your cornbread. Fuck him. Hey, man, he gonna eat his cornbread, all right? Fuck you. Right. Look, I don't, I don't need you to, to, to 
take up for me. I'm all right. I'm a, I'm a grown man. I can handle it. If you that. let him have your cornbread, you're going to be adding his drawers and clipping his toenails. Shit. <laughs> Maybe I ought to eat your cornbread. Oh, motherfucker, you can't have my cornbread. That's for damn sure. Because if you try to take my cornbread, part two of my killing spree going to begin up in here on your ass, right? That's exactly the kind of uh, mentality that I equate this entire update to is if you just sit back and take it then they know you're gonna take it uh, I, I applaud the uh, the work of the living tribunal uh, apparently Ronan Noop was involved in, in it as well I never saw any of that from the uh, line group that I was in I'm sure it was more on discord but I did see a lot of the work that living tribunal put into this whole thing and organizing it with a lot of other people and now to have this stuff put out there makes me feel a little bit better that I haven't just been a complete and total crazy person since I first saw the uh, Chinese version of Marvel Contest of Champions introduced and was like, hey, this could happen to us. It makes me feel like I'm not such the uh, such a crazy, uh, insane person as I thought I possibly was. But that's exactly the route that it looks like it would have been going. So thankfully and hopefully the uh, uproar that was caused from the version 12.0 update has actually put a stop to all of that and we don't have to deal with it but this would have been awful like I said especially because of the fact that they've been bait and switching it on the forums for the past one to two months anytime that the topic of gear gets brought up number one if you know about something and you just completely deny it then you're completely in the wrong I don't care if you work for the company that is wrong that is that is awful in my opinion like I said I'm not calling anybody out specifically from Kabam for that but it's awful in my opinion for people to do that and it's it's the kind of stuff that gets you sued because you're not it's bait and switch is completely illegal with these kind of games and that's exactly what this would have been a complete and total bait and switch but I think I've ran it for long enough hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, this video hopefully it like gave you a little bit of something to uh, to kind of sink your teeth into while we still sit and wait for version 12.0 to come out um, or version 12.1 version 13 whatever the hell they're going to call it but um, that's going to be it for this one guys thanks Thanks again so much for watching. Thanks for listening to me rant and rave a little bit. And if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like on it. If you're new to the channel, please consider leaving a sub on it. And as always, guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Later.